Hey guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we are stuck in, in uh, I almost said rocket chopper. I've been using them so much. It's all my brain can comprehend is just rocket choppers. But we're going to be stuck in 4ER for a little bit longer. Guys, I do appreciate it if you use the code chicken in the shop. Uh, I forgot to put the Discord link in the video description, but I will put it somewhere soon. I promise you that. And, uh, yeah, we're doing a giveaway. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know the spiel. So... That being said, uh, here's where we're at. Now, I'm at a crossroads right here, and I think we're going to make a pretty big decision coming up. Um, so here's where we're at. I got med kits today, because I thought I was going straight forward and up to five now, so that maybe, you know, med kits might help out uh, the rock jobs a little bit. But, yeah, obviously, you know, level one med kits aren't going to do much of anything. But then I kind of d decided, it's like, okay, let's shift. Um, and we got the GB because... We need one of two things. We need rockets or we need barrage. And we need them right now. Um, and honestly, what I'm leaning towards is the rocket launchers. Because if we can... Let, let's think of it this way. If the plan is to skip uh, most of the stuff from 5, go straight to 6. You know, get 5, get our building damage, get our prototype. And then go to 6 ER. We're going to be at 4 for a long time. Because right now, going to 5 early is not to play. It's 5 ER is actually a lot easier than 4 ER. In, in the current meta as things sit right now. So we're going to be better off to spend more time in four yards. And while we're doing that, we're, we should be able to collect up a ton of tokens. So I'm thinking maybe we can do a bit of a sneak play here. Get those rocket launchers that everybody else is forgetting about. Max those bad boys out. And uh, then it's good night rocket choppers. I mean, nothing's going uh, to be able to, to beat us at four yards if we have uh, high level rockets. Now I have played a few bases with rockets so far today. Um, none of them were leveled up that much, so they weren't really doing much of anything. So it's all about those tokens, but rockets, barrage, that's the, that's, that's the question we got right now. And we got a prototype over here, but it's only level one, so I'm not too concerned about getting it. Um, but yeah, and I, I don't know about Seekers, I, like, obviously Seekers are, are, are good and everything, but I don't know if I'm going to spend uh, spend the keys on them. I'm going to stick with my rock choppers for right now. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But we're right on the cusp of, like, a lot of stuff here. And But today we got nothing good. We got Gumboat Energy Rank 1 because we got to save our tokens. We got Medkits Rank 1 because we got to save our tokens. So, yeah, it's just been up, down, all around. I did switch the base out. And uh, also, a little trick for you guys. If you are struggling, I meant to do this earlier. Um, if you're struggling with the, uh, you know that weird bullet play where he, like, uh, flies around the side? Um, if you take your defenses off the wall, he shouldn't be able to do that anymore. Shouldn't. I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, I haven't watched any of the replays where I've lost, so I don't know if that's even affecting me, but... Food for thought, as they say. Food for thought. Now, let's get into some attacks here. Um, alright, so we got bullet, we got the, the shocky knuckle, and we got some heavies coming in hot. So this base is pretty standard. This is exactly what we've been seeing. And at this point, you know what? I'm kind of over rocket choppers. They're fun at first, for sure. They're, they're different, but they're also very frustrating to play is what I'm finding. Because it's like, um, you know, you're off by one second. Uh, or, or you're off by like just a little bit. And you get sniped. Um, just like right here, for instance. I'm off by just a little bit. I just missed that shock. And I'm out of Rocket Chopper, and I'm out of Shock, and I'm out of the GBE. So it's just like, uh, it's very high risk, high reward, it seems. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can do here. I don't know why I didn't Shock that cannon. That was another mistake. And I'm late on this. <laughs> I was going to say before, it's like, sometimes I play these battles, and I'm like, I'm 10 steps ahead. And there was a couple today where I was just like, it's just the brain not working, like, it's just not shocking at, at the right time, so. Um, like, this base, we're, we're already done. We might as well just retreat at this point. Nothing's gonna happen here. We got two rocket choppers left. Um, yeah. So that, that's, that's why it's frustrating. Obviously, that was the worst attack. I wouldn't even call that attack. That was just kind of farting around. Um, let's wipe that one clean. Let's watch the replay here and, uh, see if we can come back a little bit stronger. So, the base we've set up. Uh, it's a little bit more compact 
We've got all our defenses maxed out, and it is pretty rare to get fully cleared while we're doing this. This guy's going to do something different because I retreated. Uh, I essentially just put my troops down and then, <laughs> and then ran away. Um, so he knows all he has to do is get one, so he's going to play it very safe. This is not going to be a very realistic attack, but hopefully he doesn't go for all of them. I'm assuming it low 18, uh, high 17. It's not like a big deal to get to. Everyone seems to be going back and forth at the moment um, from where we're at. But yeah, it's just uh, it's just not an easy. Um, we're just it's, it's just not a good push point. We're not in a good spot right now. Um, so we just got to do what we can to survive and just kind of maintain, I guess. Um, although maintaining has been very easy. Just got to do what we can to survive and then just kind of figure it out from there. But it uh, looks like this guy is going to fizzle. I don't think he's going to be able to take out these boom cans with one rocket chopper each. Um, plus that one should turn if it gets off of the Zookas and shoots the helicopter. There we go. Bang, bang. And, yeah, you see what I mean. So, I mean, we're not getting fully cleared too, too often. So, that's a good sign, at least. That's something. Oh, man, this attack is going to take forever. All right, I'm going to cut this and then skip ahead when we come back. There we go. Okay, and we're back. Now, let's try that again, but let's actually attack this time. That's going to be the difference. We're actually going to attack this time, hopefully. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we, we've, uh, like, the, the only difference today really is we're seeing some more um, defenses on the base. We're seeing a lot more compact bases that seems to be changing from the, uh, you know, typically the, the base kind of trails off to the left and then forces you to go over the top in the middle, but... We've seen less and less of that as time goes on. I don't know why it's taking so long to find an opponent. Oh, man, everything's just... Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's try this one. We're going to go bullet, heavy, heavy. Start things off. And we're going to have to come around the side. As um, we kind of usually have been so far. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be quicker on the shocks. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, okay. Come on, bully. Quicker on the shocks. There we go, a little bit. That's slower, at least. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That one sneaked right over on us, didn't he? Okay, there we go. Now the boom can's got some pretty good delay, so let's try that next. I kind of panic shocked that second one. So, let's see here. I think we're going to start to... Oh, uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Okay, there we go. We only lost one so far, somehow. Okay, now we got some sniper towers. <sighs> Alright, let's flare them back over this way, just because we have to. And where are we going next, guys? Where are we going next? Now, what we can do here as well is something like this. And then this will allow everyone to catch up and the heavies and bullet to hopefully go out in front. Actually, i got to flare them down here, I think. Oh, bullet, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Okay, okay, okay. Get that machine gun at least. So we'll get three out of four. I don't know if we'll get all four of them, but we'll try. I wonder how old that, how long he's been cooking that shock knuckles for. I feel like I hit that ages ago. Um, all right, now we got no gunboat energy left here, really. Laid on that shock. Lots of zookas, but nothing to do. Nothing uh, they're really gonna do for us. Okay, they might actually be able to hold off that boom cannon for a second. For a second. Uh, yeah, he's gonna go down. So, there it is. That's the best we got so far. And, yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's not easy. It's just, uh, like we always say, it kind of is what it is for right now. So, let's see how we're holding up against Mr. 2015. Oh, he's gonna easily take us down with Gavon, Heavies, and Zookas. Yeah, apparently this is very good, uh, right now. Um, Gavon and the Hookahs. But, I mean, he got a pretty terrible time. As, as, as long as we're able to clear the base, then we shouldn't really have any problems there, so... Let's try it again. Let's try it again. And let's see what we can do here. Okay. Alright. Um, 
This base actually doesn't look as bad, so I think we should be okay, technically speaking. So let's try this. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I spread them out a little bit there so we can kind of funnel them a little bit better. I don't mind using an early shock knuckles here if it saves us a couple. Okay, some of these guys are gonna go like this. I don't know if that boom can's gonna be in range. I think so, yep. Okay, that was kind of a waste. Um, ah, I missed that one too, shoot. Bullet is still trying to get the shock knuckles off from like 20 minutes ago. All right, let's try this. Recollect everybody, take a breath, take a moment, recalculate yourselves. That one heavy is gonna die for the greater good. And I don't know, I feel like the rock choppers are still going to spread out to the left. Um, oh, thank God, Bullet hit the shock bomb there, or the, the, the shock mine. He got captured there, now we need him to turn. There you go, there we go. Okay, now let's go for that fancy finish. And hit one more knuckle, boom. Yeah, that was a little bit better, a little bit better. Yeah, I think, I don't know, if you're clearing the base, you're probably okay consistently. Um, otherwise, it's going to be tough. Come on, Cannon. Put him away for us. One more. Hey, there we go. We did it. We did it. We figured it out. Oh, man, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. It, it just got uh, kind of tough to get anything really to work today. So, But that's the plan for right now is we're just going to stay at 4 ERs. Um, I don't want to jump ahead to 5 and then be way behind in tech. And then be fighting all these maxed 4 yard layouts with rock choppers when, um, you know, we're not really going to have much of an advantage doing that. So I think it makes more sense. Play it safe. That's kind of the theme of this season for me anyways. It's just being, you know, trying to play it safe, trying to make the the, the right tech tree decisions and uh, trying to help you guys out without as much rushing as we did um, last season. Because it's tricky. It's, it's tricky. It's always different. Um, the, it's never just black and white with warships, you know. There's always like a you know, a best way to do something or, you know, stuff that is just better and it depends on the season. Because I remember a couple seasons ago, it was the opposite of this. It was like every time we jumped ahead in ER and skipped everything, it was just like huge win streak, you know, ranking up easily. Um, this season's been kind of kind of the opposite where we, we've been better off to take our time and just kind of move slowly and uh, lose our rocket choppers one by one by one just like that. Oh, chicken. There we go. We got one left there. Lost most of them. I don't know why I let them split like this. That was dumb. Okay, there we go. Shock here next. Fifty-seven GB. We got lots of gunboat energy. Just missed the knuckles. Okay. Let's try here next. Let's get him out. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. I don't know if Bolt's going to be able to do any better, but um, what we can do at least is if they stayed together at least. Nope. Nope. That's all falling apart. So we can do this and just get bullet out in front finally. I don't know. It'll help us get through this base, but <clears throat> it's not going to do much else other than that. 
Oh, man. Okay. But, I mean, that's a good thing to do. Like, if you're, if you're, um, if it's not looking good, um, just pull them back, smoke them. You know, you're going to not do very good in terms of time. But, uh, yeah, we don't really have a lot of other options here at the moment. Okay. See, the mechets do work on them, but at level one, they're not really doing a whole lot of anything. But, um, yeah, that's basically all we got for today, guys. So I hope that helps you out. Let you know if you're not alone, at least. If you're not doing well, like I'm not doing super great at the moment. But uh, that's the plan uh, going forward. So we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see uh, as, as things shift and, you know, as things change. But uh, oh, we might as well slog this one out and see if he's going to be able to tie us. At least I don't know if that cannon's in range. I don't think it is. Um, but we are certainly not getting much farther than this. I don't trust the health of that uh, of that little rocket chopper there all by himself. And boom. All right. Well, he got us down to one. Let's see if he's still going. Mr. Purple Dinosaur. Uh, no, I think he's fine. So, guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll catch you next one, guys. Chicken out back.